whatever the fuck it was last time. Yeah, I did that. I don't know. Hmm. Let me let me see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's a that's a choppy boy. It's pretty bad. Why? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm dropping frames left and right. I don't understand what happened. Let me try something. If I were to Just make it look like an N64 game, just to drop all the <laughs> drop that shit. All are you playing this on? PC or yeah. PS whatever. Yeah, I'm on, okay. I'm on PC. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea. Is my internet connection just bad today? Hmm. Why? Settings. Stream. Yeah, I'm dropping frames left and right, and I don't... I it's those to... damn ticks! No damn ticks sucking up all my frames! Oh, wait, hold on. It might be okay now. <laughs> Someone, dropping frames? I'd prefer to be dropping grapes. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah, my kilobits per second is just, like, plummeting as well. No, no. All right, looking at the preview, it's still pretty choppy. Yeah. Hmm. Who can say? Who can say? I think I should stop it and restart it. See if that helps at all. You can try. As long as I don't end stream on my end, I believe it will pick up from the same video. If not, who can say? Who can say? Yeah. It says you have an excellent connection. I must. Oh, I must wait. Oh. Maybe it might be going okay now. I think it might have just figured itself out. I'm not seeing any frame drops anymore. Really? We troubleshooting? Yeah, I don't know why. Troubleshooting is my second favorite kind of shooting. <laughs> I was thinking it. I wasn't fast enough to create a joke. Guess you weren't quick enough on the draw. I wasn't cr quick enough on the draw. It, it looks Sorry. okay now. Looks fine to me, yeah. That's so and strange. If, I assume you didn't change anything and streaming technology is just butts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't touched it. I mean, I changed the video bitrate to be 2,500 instead of 3,000, but I did that literally like two minutes ago. Yeah, I don't know. All right, I'd say we can go. Uh, hey, we're back with Evil West. Cowboy kill vampire. That's it. There's not That's really it. any. There's nothing else. Yeah. There's there's a little girl vampire. She's a bad guy. We killed her dad. She's mad. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hopefully the volume's also okay. Let us know if. Is. Hmm? On the on the screen I'm seeing. Yeah. Is no frame problems. Is his gun the revolver in his hand? Is there a handle? Ooh. Does it just uh, go right past his thumb? Am I insane? Uh, I think it is there, but it is a weird angle. Yeah, it's like one of those long, like, stretched out looking revolvers, I think. Okay. It does look a little wrong. Something, something may right there. That's because you turned off arachnophobia, you turned on arachnophobia mode, and that's my spider pistol. A son's duty. Oh my god. Yeah, so, um... Your dad got vampired, obviously. <laughs> and your dad was the your dad was the president of Kill Vampire Club. Yeah. So we're we're a little bummed about that. Bloom. Hey, Bloom. <laughs> Tell us what happened, son. I sneezed. You know they were working <laughs> together through the rector and and, 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 the, and and the blood the, the, the blood with the blood. Oh that? shit! Virgil got caught. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe we we haven't figured out. We stopped here. I just <laughs> <laughs> boo hoo. <laughs> I can't believe Eye Patch is still alive. Yeah, well, I think he's your co-op partner. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, that meant the world to him. It's all my fault. I had to 
had no proof that the compound worked. Verge, Gauntlet's all Wait, fucked up. Wake up. Your father felt better, but Verge. I gave bonk, bonk. the idea of accomplishment. <laughs> evil will because the will. stream title is still <laughs> Evil West with Evil <laughs> Will. <laughs> evil will be like I only voice characters without random racist <laughs> personalities. <laughs> You're up for this. I've been hunting ticks since I was ten. I can track a newborn. That's not what I meant. I've dragged too many people into this already. He's dead. It's time I accept that before anyone else gets hurt. Well, he's beyond yeah, hurt. Yes. He's dead, ma'am. Lance. No, not the dog pound. Where are we? <laughs> the bat pound. Said that's where the Train yard! He's there. Let's go! I'd love to know if this game was developed like Gears of War, where they just made all the levels and were like, have an excuse to go to each of them. Probably. That feels Nothing like wrong what's with happening that. here, yeah. Alright, so I gotta remember how to play this ding dang game. All right, so yeah, you've been playing Halo the past few days, so, yeah, you, might, sure or days, so you might be a little, a little squonked. Way. Switch between those two. Dynamite! Okay. And the most important ability I remember. Okay, we're good. <laughs> my hero punch. I gotta run run to grab my pizza we cooking in the oven in a few moments now. There's a lot of uh there's a lot of locations that I love to see in video games as slightly uncommon level types that I hate in real life. Where um marshalling yard, one of them. Mm -hmm. Uh I love marshalling yards, just like this with the trains. Um Oh, they wiggling. Oh yeah, you have a real gun. Oh yeah, bro, yeah. In case uh, people missed it, real gun. <laughs> God, the sounds. I forgot. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, this uh, this game sure goes. You know, we, we were like, this is meant to be an Xbox 360 game. And it is. But you know what actually the energy of this game is? This is a game I would plunge all my quarters into yeah. in an mm. arcade. Mm. Like, this is a Simpsons TMNT beat-em-up game. <laughs> Video game locations I'd hate in real life. Number one, hell. <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't finish that thought. Um, so train yards, love them in games, hate them in real life. They smell awful. And I'm from Chicago and it's like 90% train yard. Um, and I really like those, like, if you're ever driving in the countryside and you see just like a big ass factory with a bunch of pipes that you're like, oh, that'd be yeah. good for platforming. Yeah, there, there's one of them on the drive between Will's parents and his house. And it's always like, whoa. Whoa. So, what is the purpose of the little bird cage on these guys? Ooh, a level up. Can you get anything new? Oh, let's it's... see. Whoa, yeah, you unlocked a lot of new stuff. Let's let's see what uh, what were you going for? Was there any ability you wanted? I forget. Uh, receiving lethal damage. Yeah, I don't remember specifically. Final touch. That, I mean, seems neat, but it would burn three batteries, which is a little rough. Punch the bunch! Up <laughs> oh, it hits multiple enemies? Oh! It's also called Punch the Bunch. I think we learned Punch the Bunch. <laughs> Hell yeah, we learned Punch the Bunch. Uh, did we get other new upgrades? Two arrow bursts? Oh. Crossbow doesn't seem that strong. Yeah, it's definitely more of just a, like, shoot the guys, but, like, lightning art could be useful. The cocoon. <laughs> Create a force field. Yeah, all right. I haven't found that yet. Uh, a sticky bomb could be neat. Yeah, I think that's I think that's more or less where we're at with that sort of stir. Okay. Can't wait to punch the bunch. Well, yeah, why is there, like, a little blue egg? <laughs> oh, well. I think it's, like, a battery. Oh, yeah, you can shoot power-ups now. Which is a really cool ability, and I, I I wish other games would do that. Yeah, it's a good idea. Steal it. Steal. That's mine. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I need to get up high somehow. 
I need to get high somehow. Peyote unlocked. Hell yeah. Hey, a Metroid power up. Oh, shoot this. Okay, fair enough. What the hell is that? That is for uh, my batteries as well, but I'm I'm oh. full. I'm fully juiced. Do 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 do. Why is that there? there might be useful. I'll just lean this against the train. <laughs> they don't move. Just in case some cowboy comes on by and it's like, I ain't gonna use a ladder. All right, back down here. here we All go. right. Dude, the progress I am making right now. Daedalus. Speaking of punch. <laughs> ladder. That's a good one. Oh, I see what's going on here. Yeah, I, I saw someone like, oh, it they screen capped what I guess are, must be from some new gameplay trailer from the Resident Evil re uh, 4 remake. Yeah. And it's got those like yellow X's on interactables and they were like, they gotta stop doing this. Nope. And someone, and it's like, no, they don't. Like it looks a little silly if you're just looking at it, but like it just expedites the gameplay it's so much. It's an accessibility much. Like, feature. Stop being such a fucking tool, my guy. It, it's not even just an accessibility feature for me. It just looks good. For for me, what it is is uh, people can disagree with this, and that's fine. Um, I think games are looking so cluttered in detail. I like the, like the breakable things to be noticeable because. Yeah. There's so many times they're like, well, everything should look realistic. I'm like, if all of it does, it all blurs together, and I don't know what I'm supposed to interact with. Well, it's... thank you for the 50, I don't know what that currency is, but 50-something. Just curious, if you would remake so this is basically Ace Attorney today, would you do any changes? Uh, we dunk on the side games a little more. We Not dunk for on very the side long, games more. And, but, like, um... there'd be, like, a two-sentence gag that's like, and if you haven't played any of the side games, you don't need to. <laughs> and then it would move on. Ooh, you get a little song. Ooh. Ooh. I, I was looking back over my Patreon stuff, um, which again, I appreciate. I should link this. I appreciate uh, super chats a lot, though. If you would like to, and I admit I won't see your messages if you don't do that. But if anyone else wants to burn money. Uh, here is my Patreon, which has actually, like, a ton of stuff on it now. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, there's good stuff there. Uh, I was listening, I was listening to the, uh, some Ace Attorney outtakes. I was mostly looking at our old backlogs. <laughs> yeah. because <laughs> uh, they're funny. And, uh, it's, it's fun because you can, like, hear me having to, like, hype myself up into the optimal so this is basically voice and what that means changes for things so like the sonic one we were like oh sonic every joke has been made about sonic so i was like you know what i need to do is i need to this needs to all be in the delivery so it's like i need to get really drunk sounding for this and like really really irreverent and like a little like sing songier than normal and the Animal Crossing video is like that too. Like I, there's some outtakes where I like go a little too far and make myself laugh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Whoa, pizza, beer, bean. Oh my God. Oh my God. This you gotta a... punch the bunch. Oh, I need help, watch oh. out. Oh my God. I, I kind of love this game's difficulty level. It's sort of perfect. Yeah, it's like, this is a bean combination, but like I can do it. Okay, die. Ah! Fuck. Oh. Tough. Okay, so I think I need to deal with big boys first if I'm gonna have a prayer. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think you can avoid the flying guy. It's uh, those chunks are scary. I remember this guy when he was a normal boss was like the first enemy that actually gave you trouble. Oh yeah, Shield Boy is uh, a dangerous man. Can you recommend any good playthrough of A, AA four, five, and six? No, pirate them and play them yourself. And I say pirate them because in like two weeks you won't be able to get them officially because Nintendo's closing its 3DS eShop. Nintendo's bad. Ow! Um, whoa! I think. Four, which is Apollo Justice, kind of a weak game. You can get away with skipping it. I like Dual Destinies. A lot of people don't. I think it's good. 
the cases aren't amazing, but the I like the cast a lot. I like Athena. I'm on team Athena. And uh, uh, Ace Attorney Six is my favorite one. Which is not a popular take. I wonder why I've changed targets. He is also shielding the shield man. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Patreon ain't that one of them dogs in love. <laughs> Hopefully we see more of this game's terrific rain Oh rendering. yes, it is terrific. That is the word for it. Oh god, that didn't Ooh. work. So if, if you... Oz, I guess, because Will's... Uh -huh. If you got to be one of this universe's weird, like, custom bonkers vampires, what kind of bonkers vampire would you want to be? Like, what's your aesthetic if you have to be, like, sort of ugly and blood-worn about it? Oh, if I can, like, make something up, or do you mean one of the ones that's already... Uh, make, make something up. It's more fun. Um... <laughs> but it's gotta be tangentially leech-related, though, since yeah, that seems to um, be the rule. Uh, probably big, uh, big squid thing? Squid mermaid? In, okay. a, in a lagoon? I, got, I can't do I better got... than that. That's, that's cool. That's, that's a good rad. idea. Yeah. Especially if it's like the mermaid, like the mermaid half is just a big leech on the bottom half of the body. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a mother of cost sort of stuff. Oh. Hey Jello, since you're editing the highlights for the XD playthrough, what is your and everybody <laughs> else's favorite bits? Um, there's a lot of them. The the X date, the XD playthrough is so funny. <laughs> Um, that's mine. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> uh, I just recently, so it's going to be two videos. It's going to be Dogs in Love 2 and 3. There's like so much good content that it's going to be like 80 minutes of video. I, I'm i obviously not doing that in one. No. Yeah. Um, I just rewatched what's going to be part of 3, and there's this great bit where a Hitmonchan shows up. And he's like, I'm... <laughs> It's me, a regular human man, Hitman Chan. <laughs> oh, you, sh you sure you're a regular human? What if we, uh, if I, so if I were to type Hitman Chan into the Pokemex, no, don't do it. Is there any, uh, any reason? I was named after a Hitman Chan. It'll be confusing. <laughs> I don't remember that bit at all. You were, you, no, you were there. You were, you were playing opposite me in that. Most of the second half is just me. Like, it, I'm the only one there for most of the time. Yeah, I think something got borked in my scheduling. <laughs> Homo <laughs> sapien! That's my designation. <laughs> Please, brother. <laughs> yeah, it fucks me up. I love that is that, is that your dad talking to you evilly? Yeah, it's my dad. That's my dad. That's my dad. Hmm, that looks important. Um... Also from the second half, man, it shows up right at the end, but like there's a bunch of good jokes ooh, with Articuno where like in the final boss, we're just, what? Oh, <laughs> Time right, to save up for that. <laughs> Wait, can I change my answer and just be that? I don't want to be a leech. I want to be that. Lightning <laughs> tornado grenade. Dude. This game is so fucking cool. <laughs> this thing's so cool. Well, if this had come out when you were a teenager, you would be irreparably changed. Yeah. I mean, the the next closest is um, Dark Watch, which is uh, an old Capcom first-person shooter vampire cowboy game. Uh, has not aged well. <laughs> Oops. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it, it was a good time. It was a good turn your brain off and... Uh, all the good parts of it, you can look at it and go, oh, Evan Ward, got it. It's it's all coming <laughs> oh. together. Hey, Aloha, while you're there in the chat, can you check if there's any way to make Oz like a mod? I feel like, oh. no. Knowing YouTube, <laughs> knowing YouTube, I feel like, no, TNT. Man, is the, there's nothing I love more than big cartoon boxes of TNT. <laughs> I love cartoon bombs. I love... I love dynamite with a ticking clock on it. Yeah, I love yeah. bowling balls with a wick coming out Big of it. Big old that. fuse on it. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. funny as hell. Uh, 
other bits I really like. There's this great one. There's a the two I quote. Oh, oh, hello, the bunch. Will they be punched? Uh, there's two bits that won't be out for a long time that I quote all the fucking time. Uh, which a cast form comes out and I go, I'm a little ball sack. <laughs> Uh, and then a little later, a Starmie comes out and wanting to continue the bit, even though this doesn't really make sense. I was like, I don't know. Starmie's like spread out and got a big red gem in the middle. Like, I guess if you're being real, if you're really stretching it, no pun intended, it could be like a, like a goatsy ass butthole. Uh, so I was like, I'm a butthole. And Will and I start doing jokes. And Yam goes, no, don't do that to Stormy. Stormy's my favorite Pokemon. Wow, Yam, pretty weird. You like the butthole Pokemon. <laughs> and Oz goes, that is your girlfriend. Be nice. Twitter call out post for my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> so fucking funny. Uh, then there's... Uh, then there's... Hey, Yam, uh, new mod, can you ban Jello? <laughs> oh, new I mod, am. who dis? Yam, you can be in here. <laughs> yeah, you um, can be You're doing Final Fantasy stuff, I think. Oh, uh, okay. Um, then there's another bit I fucking love where, uh, this, this might be the one I've quoted out of context the most. Where I'm talking about how I think Polytoad has an ugly, stupid design. Just like, got a big, and Oz goes, I love it! It's like, I don't like its big, I don't like its spiral cheeks, and its dumb dill pickle single hair. That's what I look like! <laughs> Attack! Don't want to wear headphones right now? Super fair. That's reasonable. I still can't afford, but close. Oh, you're close for <laughs> the tornado. Dude. Man, Bo was right. This monster energy sure does taste like fun dip. Ugh. No, oh, I don't think I like no, that. No, I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive right now. Energy drinks are not a thing I can consume. I think I'm going to become a different man now. <laughs> Me, me over here. Big sips, Jello. Can't I? I consume too much drink. <laughs> I just got the air there before. I, whoa, where am I going? <laughs> yeah, Spamton, isn't that that guy from Undertale? Somebody asked, uh, "Are you gonna do a highlight of things like Ghost Trick and Night in the Woods?" Absolutely not. Uh, in my head, the only time I'm like, I think this might be worth doing me doing a highlight they take so much work i i cannot express how many thousands of hours those take to cut down and edit especially dogs in love because i'm fucking actually animating them yeah i mean the thing is is anytime you see a clips video for other channels and this is not to mock them or to belittle at all um it very much is here is the clip and we move on to the next one and that's great i love those they're they're great but the thing that Jello does that I haven't seen on other ones is they are borderline animated in some senses. And it's like, that's they're, a shitload more work. They're just as animated. At, like, because with, with the Ace Attorney videos, it's like, I can do occasional animated bits that are like pretty short and never with more than like two characters on stream. Usually just one. Right. And sometimes I'd like go in and edit a sprite or whatever and that those videos took a long time don't get me wrong but with dogs in love it's like hey this footage is deeply boring to watch yeah we have to do own. so much work to make this visually interesting in any regard so i'm like oh i'll just animate the characters and then i have this problem where like i'll be like oh i have a, oh i have an idea for a a good joke this will take six hours and it'll be for three seconds and then i always do it Mm -hmm. Which means the video is good, but it takes forever. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to be useful in a fucking metal train yard like this. Yes, because there will be <laughs> Bro, flesh what things. are we doing? Why are there so many beams? What is going on with the fucking... Ain't you heard of Johnny Applebeam? He delivers <laughs> beams across the country. <laughs> 
Yeah, he just plays you, little bullets in the ground. You you said that with the energy of someone who like, Johnny Applebean saved my fucking kid. Don't you talk about him now. <laughs> fucking dare you. Don Johnny Applebeam, he he made uh, beams. <laughs> like Johnny in the beam stock. You ain't never seen that show before. <laughs> That show, Johnny yeah, I Apple love Beef. that He show. fucked my wife when I couldn't. <laughs> he did he us must... a service. <laughs> my kid came out, he was a steel beam. <laughs> Pulling it out of my wife like a Mary Poppins bag. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, so, fuck She's you, dead. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> Jello, when did you start editing Dogs in Love 2? I say, knowing the answer. Uh, May. <laughs> But is I mean, anime in, coming up? Yes. I, I, in fairness with that one, I edited it, uh, like, I started commissioning art and stuff, which took a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I keep commissioning more random shit. Like, I just ping, like, six and Bo and be like, I want a specific visual for this gag. This is funnier. If there's, a like, an item drawn in the Pokemon style, give me that. Yeah. Uh, Bo, I just had paint something for me in the style of the illustrations of Roll Dolls children's book. Oh my god. Oh my god. And like that's that style is like ugly and simplistic, but I was like, mm -hmm. this'll be funny. <laughs> and, so I, and I should be clear, on my main comment, it was a bad joke I didn't follow up on of like, oh, from the future. I, I realize how much work goes into these things. Like even just the bit I've seen so far, I'm like, yo, this fucks. This is so Yeah, good. I'm I'm like I'm like 27 out of 36 minutes first pass edited, uh, and I don't put the sound effects in until the end, and that takes me like three extra days of work. Yeah. Um, and is also deeply boring. So um, it's going. But yeah, the my mental thing for will I make a highlight reel of this is, are we, the the cast reading this, adding a significant amount of comedy to a game that is not there without us. And with like Dogs in Love, obviously, yes. With the Ace Attorney playthroughs, yeah. Uh, the Fire Emblem ones are the next ones I want to do. And also kind of the ones I want to, I don't want, really want to do anymore after that. Like these already take so much time. Yeah. Um, but man, those Fire Emblem videos are so funny. I don't and why, why even do that? Just send people to over, over to Anyet no, no, ban Bananas is his videos. Because there's so, like, Banana, you should all watch that. Google and yet no bananas and watch the Ashnard videos. They're fucking amazing. God. But there's so many bits that aren't in those. And also, I felt bad when those got done because I was like, damn, wish I had done this first so they could have used the audio balanced version instead of this mm. really quiet one. Feel bad about it. Oh well. Yeah. Fire Emblem is going to take forever. It's not going to take nearly as long as Dogs in Love did. Really? Yeah, because all those portraits already exist, and I can just go download oh, them. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's true. I didn't even think of that. And, Beetle. Oh! And there's already, like, there's a lot of bits where we're doing jokes over cutscenes, which means the characters are on screen already. I don't need to animate them. Um, Any, like... So only if it's a joke that implies a lot of motion over a battle map, am I going to do something? And legitimately, I, I was gonna ask, and yet no bananas. So I could just be like, hey, can I like take some chunks of your animation if you've still got the file and put it in there occasionally and then fucking have a link to your video? Cause their videos don't get enough views. They're really good and they're so long. They're really yeah. long and, and yet no bananas pumps <laughs> them out like, Pretty fucking fast, yeah. No, please go check out um, and yet banana and yet no bananas work. Uh, awesome stuff all the time. Absolutely spoils us. And you guys have the benefit of Fire Emblem Heroes portraits. I'm not using those ugly things. Why the fuck would we use those things? I'm use Get the ones from here. Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. I I do actually kind of want to commission portraits of us in that style. If I'm being honest. <laughs> oh really? Oh really? What is that voice? Hello, hello, hello! Johnny Applebeam, is that you? No, that's the ghost of your father, Jello. Er, well, fuck, Look, God damn it! Jello finding high quality versions of that art is a lot of work in itself. Yeah, Aloha had to uh, 
go through and make portraits for all of our Ace Attorney things. And he was like, why can't I fucking find portraits of these characters? And I'm like, because there aren't any. No one's ripped any of the assets from Ace Attorney Investigations 2, because that game's bad. Man. I don't care about it. There's, um, I made this, it was, this is uh, the rare instance of me going, I want to do this thing and going, never mind. This will take so much work. I'm not putting it in the video. And I did it anyway for myself as like a victory lap. Uh, victory lap and I was like here's what I'm gonna do there's one bit where Savvy mentions by name a we are coming to beat you to yep. death gif of yep. the characters and I was like I'll just grab the walk cycle of the characters walking towards the camera and it's like you've got that for Edgeworth and K and nobody else and I was like but they exist like I has have people like ripped the sprite sheets and it was like yeah you can get um lotas which they ripped but guess what they didn't rip lang's uh running sprite going down because it's only used in that one shot in the game and they missed it and it was like what oh no ah! <laughs> Fucking die! <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about this. Whoa! That's the best ability in the game. Yeah, what am I doing? I forgot. I it's can... the plunging attack. <laughs> I also, I appreciate that this game, a lot of it takes place, like, in lit environments. Yep. Yeah. Al, did you finish know. your treat? As a, as Johnny Dark Monitor, I like to have games where I can see. Oh, did you Ooh. get your, did you get your I, new one? I have my new computer. I'm not setting it up until after Dogs and Love is done, because I don't want to transition all my other shit. Gotcha. I only, I only have one space that I can use as oh. my main work. No, you got webbed! What? Oh, you died from uh, string shot. I timed that block entirely wrong. Oh, you have a lot more Oh, but yeah, I... I don't have any interest in editing any other videos down currently. Weirdly, if I had to pick one, and I think I might ask Pip to do this when he's not busy, I want to do an edit down of maybe the trolley problem stream, because I think that one's really funny. And uh, definitely the Zillow stream, because that one's <laughs> really funny. Here is the ice woman. <laughs> that fucked me right up, dude. That, that stream is like, bizarrely popular. It's got like 50,000 views. Whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. I guess everyone likes making fun of rich people. That's true, see? God, I just want a uh, bomb. For <laughs> Tornado. 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 For a, for a little while, I was like, I should do one for a tiny late on the playthrough. <gasps> and it's like, there's absolutely enough there to make like a good video, but I'm like, it would be so strange because the the vibe would be very different from our other yeah. ooh, from our other Ace Attorney videos because in those we're going like, isn't this stupid and shitty? Because it is. And um, with the Tiny Layton one, it would be like, there's a bunch of really good clips of Oz and I like acting well or doing bits in character that like aren't derogatory towards the game it's a woo towards the game itself and it's like i could do that like there's a enough there flavor. to make a really solid like 18 minute long tiny latent video mostly just so i can like Im damn really fuck that did so much damage Ooh, we're getting into the territory of like really mean combinations Ooh. Jello for the fire emblem bin. Can we get five minutes of just Oliver? It's Will's Oliver is great, but like, let's not pretend Oliver is Will's main star of the show performance. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's true. Ashnard. 
Dude, I that... love Ashtar. <laughs> we've, I don't think we've ever been more on for such a long period of time than during that Ashnard final boss fight. Because I was literally like, well, I want to get all of my characters' stats up as max as they can for 17 hours so that they can get plus two in our next playthrough, which I, sounds like a joke, but honestly does help a fuck ton. <laughs> hey man, that's up. Radiant Dawn is hard. Um, and I was just like, I need you guys. And I think I told you guys I was going to do that. I was like, we need to be able to occupy this space. And, uh, man, we did. <laughs> occupy Wall Street. It do truly like... kill the vampires. And it do. Wa occupy this. Watch this space. Watch oh. this space. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> There is no more Twitch stream. Twitch killed us. Yes. Correct. Oh, he's glitched. Perfect. Okay. This is great. <laughs> now, in order to win this fight, you just got to break it. Sometimes that's how it be. Man, these dudes are scary. They, they do have so, so much, much damage. Oh, 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 oh. Change plan. oh my god. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You fucking use this. Get this get, get these guys out of here. Will Ashnard made me one of my Oh my god, maybe uh made Ashnard one of my favorite villains uh in Fire Emblem. I've always really liked Ashnard because like here's the thing. Fire Emblem is so bad at writing generally, and even in these uh the Ike games, which are the best written ones, don't get too close to the glitch guy, he might unglitch. Yeah, correct. Um I'm just watching. Um, I really like Ashnard because he doesn't pretend to be more than he is. He's just like, I am just a, like, eugenics survival of the fittest man. I just want to fight. I don't care about being king. I'm only king so I can fight more and make more people fight. And everyone's like, you're a crazy. Whoa! He I got hops! I didn't realize that that guy was one of these things. Ugh. Um... Yeah, we got hey. spiders turned off. Yeah, he's like, I never, uh, I never, I never tried to be more than that. He's just crazy. And Ashnard is such a Will character. Like, if Will just has to, like, make a villain who's just, like, irreverently awful and can also, like, do the thing you do where you switch between, like, I'm going to be portraying this seriously and, like, come on, I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. Little guy. <laughs> come on. Which is like such a will maneuver. <laughs> the will maneuver. The will maneuver. Is if a little were, shit. Come on, who's a little guy? If yeah. there were a character like that in Evan Ward, I I don't I don't know if I can handle being in that game. I think I might just rip okay. my hair out. <laughs> um. Damn. Whoa. Thanks, glitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got another perk point. Oh, what, can we, what can we do here? Blood and Thunder. This absolutely drains health in exchange for energy. Um, and... that's a terrible trade. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Get battery for every fifth. Oh, that's, that's, that's not bad. Things. That's all right. <laughs> Increase by one. That oh, I mean, yeah, I. I they're very, very frightening. <laughs> oh, it just it's a super giant lightning just strikes everyone. That's that's cool, but unnecessary. Like that mode already kills everything. Yeah. I feel like just the battery upgrade. I mean, batteries are fucking good. Oh, the 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 slap combo gets faster. <laughs> oh, never mind. Do that. Do that. <laughs> do, 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 do. We love slap combo. We love slap combo in this house. Uh, bump, 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 bump. A spitter. Got him. <laughs> a hero. I like a... Guys, who's your favorite One Piece character? I'm definitely the only one who's consumed One Piece here. Um... Sign Center says Addis exists and he's exactly like that. No. no. <laughs> Bro, no. Clinically different characters. Another bad Usopp's the best written character. Like, that's the only choice if you mean who's the best character. My favorite? Another one of your glamour tricks. Alternate universe Robin, where they let her do things. Okay. 
This new world needs the strong to guide the weak. We can still walk this road. To like a bad voice filter. Yeah. All right, Pappy Eugenics, get your ass out here so I can beat you. It, it's a, it's not a great voice filter, but I definitely like it more than Stranger in Paradise's attempts, where they're like, <laughs> "What do the dragons sound like?" Oh, uh, the Pringles can. Yeah. I mean, I guess. No, what was that fucking? Was it a Xenoblade game where the voice filter on a guy was like? Woo, 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 woo. Uh, I don't think it's Xenoblade because like, Xenoblade's actually pretty well done. The the bits I have seen of it, um, but it, it might have been in Stranger of Paradise. Honestly, Stranger of Paradise, the audio design is pretty politely ass. What? For some reason, it just ate my message and replaced it with nothing but an emoji. I edited you, Aloha, and said, honestly, yeah, in response to alternate universe Robin, where they let her keep her melanin. Yup. Oh, no. Well, didn't they do that to Zoro, too? Uh, not nearly as much. Not really. I, for some dumb reason, at first, when you said melanin, I'm like, does she have, like, a nip slip or something? What happens there? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, but that's unfortunate. God, why does that keep happening? Stop doing that. This Japan. Join me in the pool. Dive into the brine with me. Oh, and, and if anyone's wondering about Tom, uh, for like some of these graphics look a little lower. I decided to put it on medium to see if that would help with the stream instead of being on. Uh, it wasn't even on Epic. I had it on high before, and I was like, maybe this will help. I don't know. Just less strange. Trials of mana. Okay. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. I yeah. I do know what you're talking about now. Yeah, that definitely was Trials of Mana. Why the scary blood man be bobbing for apples? <laughs> Vampire party where you're bobbing for hearts in a bucket of blood. Kind of cute. <laughs> Bad man. I'm just a little guy. I'm, I'm just Jesse. the president of Little Guy Inc. Don't you understand, Jesse? I'm the good guy. Uh, voice filter. No, you're not. No. I don't know. Can't you hear how I sound, Jesse? Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 I love that's all I have to do. If you don't join me, you will have a bad time. I'm God, <laughs> your lungs! I can hear them expanding! Uh, okay, uh, if you don't join me, you'll be on uh, the bad side. <laughs> if, uh, if you do turn, you will have a good time! Oh my God, Yellow! <laughs> it's, there's, there's something trying to escape! <laughs> it sounds like you're doing your evil monologue while bobbing for those hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my hair back, I'm going in for another. <laughs> is this world's biggest businessman from Dropout? You know it is! Hell yeah it is, we can't take credit for that voice, holy shit. I, I don't what? like this voice, you're not the <laughs> only one. What is this voice? What the fuck? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I will go and get the video. Oh, yeah, please watch Game Changer. It's so funny. I really need, like, I see nothing but great shit from Dropout. I really need to actually, like, it's it's even like if six I don't bucks watch, a month. Even if I don't watch it, like, I I really should just support them. I like those guys. Yeah. I'm gonna... They're also like one of the only streaming services that is just like all original content, pretty much all good. So like, yeah. here you go, gang. Who's this? Oh, you look bad. <laughs> this is the final frontier. A final choice. Uh, it doesn't look that good, Dad. Play some cheap electrical tricks. All that truly stands between us and Godhood is a drop of blood. He sounds like discount, uh, discount, um, J.K. Simmons. Yeah. He has no place in the future. It's J.K. Similar. Just kidding, Simmons. God, what are you wearing, Dad? Wash your fucking clothes. No. We could have won that war. Why is your hair blue? 
Enough of your petulance. I am your father. If you will come willingly, I will make you. You'll make me come. I will make you. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know I how to pin it. I wish I could. I don't know how. So. You're like just a... Uh, just... Oh, I thought it said William Rente the sausage. I'm like, what? Whoa! I, I, whoa, he do damage. I read it as uh, William Rente enter the sanguine. Oh, he's got it's the like... same tools as me. Ooh. Man, he looks bad. Yeah, no, he looks like some Bioshock one shit. No, oh, man, he does. Oh, cool. So you can see his own charge bar. That's That's pretty fun. I like that. Blue hair and blood powers, of course. Of course you have blue hair and pronouns! <laughs> Ow! Dad! <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you died! Oh boy, I think we're gonna be here a while, kids. Alright. I don't know, you already went okay. Ah, fuck! That's mine! <laughs> God, I was reloading at the time. Him pointing at you. <laughs> That's my son. That's mine. <laughs> Stop. Oh god. Wow. Okay. I thought I had a little more time. Don't worry. I believe in you. Uh, you got that electric counter. I think that's what you're supposed to use. Oh yeah. Ow. Was he always like, like, did they just size up his model? And yeah, he's like, just eh, bigger. Whatever. Oh god, no, I wanna. I don't know if you're gonna have time to chain gun him. Oh, such shit, man. What about health? Oh, okay. Hey, that, whatever works. Oh god in heaven. Yeah, that one's bad. That's like a Kingdom Hearts prevent you from comboing. Not a combo breaker, just a punishment. Whoa. That gun is hard to dodge. Yikes. Don't worry, Will. I believe in you. Ow. Here, chat. Help us create background noise while Will does this. <laughs> I'm drawing. Oh, Back shit. Off. I should be drawing other stuff. Whoa! I don't think he's the final boss. No, this is definitely like the penultimate fight. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta fight little miss whatever the fuck. Okay, what do you what like Oh what the fuck? Hey alright, you dodged it. Favorite prison of plastic line delivery. Um Danny has a lot of really mm. good ones. Uh no, there honestly it might be uh Yeah. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Yuck! Well done, Trixie! I never would have thought to use the candy corn! Yuck! Yuck! <laughs> it's a very new feed delivery. Oh god! Okay, I thought you were gonna do the gun! Oh, uh, Trixie! You fucker! Oh man. Ooh. What class would each of the epithet characters be in D and D? Uh, Molly's probably a druid or a ranger. Phoenix is such a paladin. I feel like Trixie has to be some sort of alchemist or artificer, even though, like, you would think it'd be like necromancer. I don't know. How's Alucard? Oh, he is having Lovely. a little bath on the bed right now. He's licking his little arm. Bro has too much health. Yeah, he does. That That's a recurring problem of bosses in this game. Someone was like, this seems like a drop the difficulty boss fight. And hey, you know, if you if you gotta, I mean, especially if it's just reducing his HP pool. Thank you, Rangers and Riders. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Um, who is my favorite epithet the race character that doesn't matter? Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, oh, fuck. That oh, this is a really jello question. What couples in media you like 
the kind that make you love love? Um, well written. Oh, oh, well, oh, phase two. He got tentacles now. Tentacles? Ain't that the bitch who fought? Oh, tentacles? Ain't that the bitch who stole death? That's too many tickles. <laughs> um, <laughs> types of couples I like in media. Like honestly, it's not even that hard. It doesn't have to be a specific archetype. Man, he looks awful. Uh, it's like anyone. It needs to be a couple that make each other better by being together. Mm -hmm. Like both of them. If it's if it's only one, that's bad. Yeah. This is just a bullet hell now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, he. Whoa. Whoa. He literally oh looks my like god. a. Oh! He literally looks like a Luigi's Mansion portrait ghost. Jello is on Twitter. Jello is still on Twitter. He his his ad is Brendan Blaber. Yeah, Twitch can't get him there. Yeah. Don't follow me though. <laughs> um. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you have iframes in your roll? Can you roll forward? Uh, I think I have a little, but not a lot. All right. Not a good idea. All right. That's not a terrible um, idea. If you're asking me, just like. Hey, what a! Oh my God! Fuck! What the? F what the fuck? <laughs> oh Dad, you powerful. Oh, uh, you strong. got you got off the pattern, and there was no way to get back on. Okay, all right. There's checkpoints. Thank cool. God. Okay. Um, I like big sucker for any kind of like knight and lady he serves, or uh, like butler and maiden or whatever where they like also fall in love but are not allowed to because of social reasons like that i always find very compelling <laughs> me i love love visuals die, 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 die. <laughs> <laughs> love is love i don't judge <laughs> Fuck yeah you no you, if you're too close you're just fucked What are some examples of couples in media I like? There's so few. Um, There's so few! People are really bad at writing romance. Uh, Chidi and Eleanor in The Good Place, and um, Jake and Amy in Brooklyn Nine-Nine were like written by the same guy. And they're like pretty basic couples. Chidi and Eleanor are better. Um, but like, you know, they are couples and they like each other. It's so hard to find. I see. So Michael Schur couples? Look man, he's like the only person who works in mainstream television who knows how to write a couple. He's not even like amazing at it, he's just good. But like, god, the bar is so low. I can't believe there's no cutscene between these. Oh, I'm glitched. I, I'm just shooting, okay. <laughs> Now you are glitched, son. Hey, uh, fucker man? If you could make any non-edible thing edible, what would you pick? Uh, dirt. Salt Lava. Bowl oh, no, your answer's smarter. Thoughts on Frasier? <laughs> it has a really, it has a really stupid theme song. <laughs> and I'm gonna get a salad and some scrambled eggs. Like it just sounds it is like really someone. Stupid. Yeah. It sounds like someone who got a bad improv prompt, having to make up a song on the spot. <laughs> I like Lumity. Yeah. Okay, that's a good. I do like Lum. Uh, I do like Lumity. I can't think of a single couple that I like. Hey um, Oz, I've been meaning to ask, who is this who is this couple you've been like vain <laughs> posting about on Twitter for like four weeks and with and you're like, y'all know you who can, it is. And you I'm can like, watch Evan Ward if you want to find out. Oh, it's an <laughs> Evan Ward thing, okay. 
Oz makes dirt edible and tells no one it's my little secret. Oh, they'll find out. They'll find out. <laughs> oh, fuck shit! Hunt low is also good, yeah. And I, I like all of the main couples in the Owl House. I mentioned this on my Patreon, um, but um, Jay and I just, oh, hang on. This might be important. Take that, tentacle dad. Like and subscribe, son. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Get these, get these off of you. You look ridiculous. Fucking, these fucking Twizzlers. Did Fox News tell you to put these Twizzlers on your body? Great thing, son. Do you think anyone was sad in this scene? But then maybe Jesse. Oh shit. Oh sh Oh, I thought he was just gonna cap him. Take more than bullheadedness to find her. Carmine, we'll stop her before she reaches DC. I taught you well after all. You just pray it was enough. I'm a Whoa. vampire, that's not gonna do much. Oh, that's right. No, 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 no! <laughs> he starts punching the shit out of him. What? What was that gonna do? Why didn't we open with oh. that? It was that efficient? <laughs> do I think Shrek and Fiona are well written? Genuine question. Yeah, Shrek 1's a good movie. I like Shrek 2. Yeah, like, Shrek 2 is one of those films like Ratatouille where people think they like it more than they do because it ends on such a good note. Mm. But Shrek 2 is okay. What's it say, Mr. Gravener? William Rentier is dead, kid. Oh. Jesse needs yeah, he was a, we knew that. He was a vampire. Bang. Fire up the airship, Blue. Well, technically, sir, it's a lighter than air vessel that way. Shut off. the fuck up. What about Mr. Harrow? I want to be upset that we Fire up the airship. Uh, it's a lighter than air Harrow vessel. Fuck off. Exactly what? <laughs> what? I missed something. Hang on. What? Oh, that was our yeah. test to make sure you were listening. I wasn't. That's the non-vampire code. Just say fat dick. Fat dick. Is that like the Tumblr thing of like nice shoelaces, whatever dumb bullshit yeah. that was? Fat dick. Thanks. I stole it from the president. <laughs> <laughs> uh. no! <laughs> that was a normal guy. Not anymore. Uh, Shrek 4 is also good. Ah. The only the only bad movies are three. Shrek movies are three and four. Nah, man. Shrek 4 is better than Shrek 2. It's not a comedy though, really. So people don't like it as much. And it also doesn't end with a really cool castle break-in sequence where they play holding out for a hero. Do I leave? What's the objective here, kids? I like how generic Western this town is. It's so boring looking. Yeah, I could have killed that guy. I'm fucking Jesse Rentier. Thoughts, <laughs> thoughts on the mid romance in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Um, I don't really have any thoughts on Katara and Aang. They're, they sure are the protagonists. They sure so are the protagonists, and thus have to get together. Uh, Suki and Sokka have a cute relationship. Yeah. I also remember as a kid being extremely charmed at that time when Toph gets thrown in the water and Suki gets her out because Sokka's saving somebody else. And Toph goes, Aw, Sokka, you saved me! And kisses her. And she goes, Uh, actually, it's me. Oh, well, you can go ahead and let me drown now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, has there ever been a better decision made mid-show than season one of Avatar? Okay, uh, when they get to the Earth Nation, you know, they're gonna meet, essentially, like, the boulder will be, like, it, it's the guy who's earthbending in the opening was going to be the earthbending teacher, and halfway through season one, they were like, we want this girl who voiced a minor character. We want to bring her on as a main character. She was great. And then they made it Toph. What a great change! Yeah, <laughs> Holy I, shit. I can't imagine that show without her. Like, is I, level eighteen the cap? No, I don't think so. Maybe it'll be twenty. Ah, enough! 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 
I'm gonna go take my medication. Be all right. I always found Katara and Aang to be kind of weird. Like my brain, knowing Aang was 12 and Katara was 14, I was like, oh, ew. Two year. It's like if you're if you're like a prepubescent whatever, like it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, I don't know. Anyone who's like wigged out by an age gap of like one or two years is like in that in that area. It's just like they're kid, they're not going to like it, like in real life. I'm out, I mean, mostly. Yeah, it's just like they're like they're not really dating like they're middle schoolers. <laughs> they're not going to stay dating. <laughs> it's like useful, I guess. Who's the mermaid that made me bisexual? Uh, it's an OC of mine. He's not, he's a naiad. I just call them mermaids to avoid explaining my version of naiads. Yeah, I like yeah. Zuko and Mai. Yeah, they're okay. It's not like they're a nine year old and a 14 year old. Oh, what? Lears at Star Wars. Yeah. Is that Anakin and Pad? Anakin and Padme is a weird relationship that I don't like at all. Yeah. That one, like I, so I have not seen Star Wars episode one in like over 10 years and I'm never gonna rewatch any Star Wars movie. But like, I always thought when I watched it that like Padme was a full on adult, like, yeah. like a young adult, like maybe 18 and Anakin's like, I'm one year old. And then they show up later and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm haunted by the kiss. You never should have given me. It's like, yeah, because you're a baby. <laughs> I remembered one. Um. A good one? Yeah! Or it had the potential to be a good one. Um, Hannah and Owen from Bly. Oh, yeah. They, they were very sweet. I like the fan theory that Anakin was accidentally mind tricking Padme into being with him. I don't like that. I don't That's, like that at all. That makes it like, I understand that that is like lore compliant possibly, but like that makes it even worse. Yikes. Hang on. Let me go look at some media to see if I can remember anything. Guys, I what like, things do I like? <laughs> I like Estelle and Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, uh, it's just impossible to explain without having played the first two games all the way through, but, uh... Man, Estelle and Joshua Bright really are the... Uh, you're my adopted sibling. That It's the one time I've seen it work, and it's just like, you know what? You get a pass. You pulled it off. Huh? And... And then that guy was like, I pulled it off, did I? I'll put my fetish everywhere in this franchise! I did it once, and then he fails over and over and over again. <laughs> The minigun be called oh. a Ghostbuster. <laughs> <laughs> it's just called a death ray. Uh, also, anti shout outs to um, Matt Mercer's character in the Trail series. Uh, <laughs> who, Olivier, who I love and aged better than his game, because he shows up and he's like, Ooh, I also like men. And they're like, Ooh, a, 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 a bisexual, disgusting. <laughs> and it's like, oh, this sure was an RPG from like the early 2000s. And looks at Persona 5. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, that trend uh... hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, fucking, what is it? Uh, and Olivier has this, he's like this shitty. I guess you can call him a playboy prince who pretends to be a bard and he wanders around and does other shit. And he's had this lifelong companion named Mueller. And like they're, whoa, nice to head on that guy. Um, and they've got this, uh, his royal family, the Mueller family, they like always have one of the Mueller's guarding them. And they're like this odd couple, hyper serious golden Kamui ass sword guy and this mm -hmm. like, extremely gay bard and every time they're on screen in the first couple games i'm like i want them to get married and then they're like oh a oh, it's, it's pink they're like uh olivia eventually gets married to sherazar the worst party member from the original games and they have negative chemistry together and also she's a woman and it's like boo <laughs> read the room <laughs> Heal! Yeah! 
that let's be like why would you date an icky gross boy and then makes very handsome boys i don't know if i'd say they're very handsome but none of the girl options in persona are good does jello finally have a new computer and is now able to read chat properly no i'm not playing this will is playing hence uh, yeah. Yeah, this game is hard to talk during nowadays. <laughs> yeah, so no, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm covering for you. I appreciate that. Someone in chat says, I really like Mercy and her husband in Thrilling Intent. She has a husband? Oh, yeah. Who's Mercy? Uh, in Thrilling Intent, uh, my character. Oh, okay. She's just this buff blacksmith redhead. Uh, no surprise. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she just has a very healthy, happy relationship. She's like, my husband's great. That's it. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, I'd like... In the trenches. I'd throw, I'd throw Columbo and Mrs. Columbo up I was there gonna say them, Mrs. actually. Colum Miss, Mrs. Columbo's not a character, I so like I think it's a I like the idea of them. It's a cute dynamic. And... Tornado. <laughs> it's a cute dynamic. It's part of the reason that, like, some Columbo episodes are worse than others, where, like... The, you know, it'll just be like Columbo staring at like a belly dancer for a while. It's like, stop doing that. He's Columbo. He's, the, he's, he's not a lust over some bitch. He's got a wife. So obviously this one might be a bit biased, and uh, I don't I don't know where it's going just yet. But uh, I and Sarasa. Oh yeah, no, I I ship the hell out of the two of them also. <laughs> Don't know what Sarasa's deal is. I is like the gayest character I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does Jean Wolf have any good romances? I've been meaning to Who watch. Who do you it. think do you're I, talking to? Do I look like someone who's consumed? To, oh my God, Jean Wolf. <laughs> oh, you. You can do it, Will! I can't even. Oh, you know what? I don't go there, but I I do like the flavor of whatever the fuck is going on with uh, Hubert and Ferdinand in Three Houses. I've always looked at those two and been like, hmm, I think there's something there for me, but I don't know yet. <laughs> I, uh, I have no modern Fire Emblem anything. Yeah, I should I should acknowledge this as someone paid money for a super chat. But we see Psychonauts 2 anytime soon. I'm gonna do it eventually. Um I'd like to do it with Lenti and Gianni actually and kind of make it like I don't know. Maybe not my mainstream, maybe just do it like whenever the three of us are available. Cause I don't know if I can get those two on a weekly basis. Um, I also need to buy an Xbox controller. Man, I have never played a game with worse uh, worse control adaptation than Psychonauts for the PC. Holy shit. <laughs> and for a platformer I was about to say, too. I've never played... Sorry? And for a platformer too, that's like, yikes. The yeah. most recent Atlas game finally had a good trans character and she's the best. I don't believe you. I'm trying to think of what she... Atlas game came out recently. It's 90% fan interpretation. Yeah, that makes sense. That's more right. Is this just straight up ships? I'll throw in Frankie and Robin. I, I'm i not with you on that one. Those two don't even have a normal dynamic. The character is literally transphobic. <laughs> Man, you guys are just hungry for anything, huh? Listen, we're so hungry. We're, we're starving. We're uh, starving. And I, then Atlas comes over and goes, Here, peanut butter laced with arsenic. Well, that's and we're like, hey, that's, you should know by now to stop eating from yeah, Atlas. Yeah, if, if you keep going to Atlas's door for your peanut butter, then, like, you have no one to blame for that arsenic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking! Oh, God, Will. Oh, Will. Fucking half the cast of Hades. Those are good couples. Oh, yeah. Good polycule, Than uh, Zag Meg. Yeah. I, uh. Man. Um. I can't talk about this like it's a real property. Or. I, I actually. I have two trans characters I'm very excited to do, but, like, it'll be a while before either of them 
The longer the longer I think about her, the more excited I am for new mood epithet arrays. <laughs> I, I, I have been unable to find this Tumblr post, but like, I don't know if you've ever like had a post in your head where you're like, I hope that people see this character and do like an incorrect quotes Tumblr or something with this post. Yeah. Oh, that looked bad. <laughs> um, but uh, with Moot, there's this one post that's like, Oh, that'll be like seven ninety five or what other whatever. It says trans Starbucks barista who would have been a seven foot tall priestess five thousand years ago yep. or something yep. <laughs> like that. That's what I want for Moot. Or what God, was it like? Yeah, the, 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 I love the one. I love that genre of post because there's one. It's like me gets sold a couch from a guy who would have been like a war chieftain in the year two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Orbs, Rita and get him. Estelle from Vesperia. Uh, Rita was gay, Estelle didn't know shit and or fuck. There was nothing there. <laughs> yeah, and then there's a, um... There's a... There's also a trans character in the Winds of Change Fire Emblem thing who is kind of fun. She's, like, aviator-themed. Like, she's, like, she's a Pegasus Knight, but it's played like she's a fighter pilot. What? What? I think you have to go the other way and climb down. Maybe. I don't know. Can you break that? Maybe you had to blow that up by hitting a guy into it. Huh. Maybe. Well, is that the way forward, or...? Can I go in here? Or... I what? What's going on here, that what the fuck? I can't kill these guys. You you have to kill this guy first. Oh, what? This blows oh. up now? What the fuck? Why does that blow up now? Xenoblade has a cannon polycule. There's also a polycule in Winds of Change. The mermaid boy is part of that. For a while, I was like, oh, and I, I've mentioned this to Oz a couple times. There's like a 50s poodle skirt and biker gargoyle couple. And I was like, I'd like to hear Oz and Will read for them. But actually... Now I want to use both of you guys somewhere else, and I kind of want Gianni and Marissa to be those huh. two. Huh. What setting is my fan Fire Emblem game? It's like the same as Fire Emblem. Felicity, I'm coming. Don't tell her. Hey, a jukebox. <laughs> uh, no, I still don't have enough. Is there anything going on between the cowboys in this game? No, not Are you at kidding? all. kidding? No. <laughs> Oh, I know how to open this vault. Tornado. Oh, where's my tornado? It's that. Ah! Yeah, go ahead. Cash. Cash. I love how bad this game looks. It's kind of charming, honestly. Well, again, I brought this down to medium. Just in general. Ooh, ooh, icky. Yeah, that, looks, that used to look better ooh. on high, but I, I lowered it a fair amount just so that it might run better for, for the stream. God, I really am just thinking of no examples here. Uh, people are bad at writing romance. People unless are bad they're at me. <laughs> I, should, I should get a picture of Mercy and Faria so you actually know what they look like. Cause they're actually... Hang on, hang on. Thrill. I bet Jay has showed me them because I asked him to sit me down and catch me up on Thrilling what's, Intent. What's the husband's name? Uh, Faria, F -A -R How do you spell? I, A, I believe, H. I'm sure if you just do like Mercy Thrilling Intent, there's like a two sentence wiki. Oh, he cute! Yeah, he's just like this weasel, not weasley, but like skinny little alchemist boy. Here's Will's girl, no surprise. Big woman. Are you. Where are you posting these? In the chat for this uh, call. Oh, okay. this is not good. Man, this game really uh, amped it up. Pumped up. Yeah, here I need to rejoin the call because of the Discord error. Here, Mac. Oi! Oh my god. 
god, and this fucker's in the back? Like, god. Oh, you're very quiet now. I mean, it'll pop me back up in a second. Yep, okay, Jay did show me these two. Fuck. This has escalated a large amount. Where am I now? Oh, no. oh, do I have to open? Oh, no. Every time I fail, I gotta... Oh, no. That's... That's a bad checkpoint, gang. That's a bad checkpoint. Game unsalvageable F minus. I'm tired of all this, Grandpa! Well, that's too damn bad! That's too damn bad! <laughs> okay, you. What are your Jesse Rentier head cannons? Uh. His name has a canon pronunciation in my head. <laughs> That's a hell of a God, Lin There's Linty consistency. Was, Linty was just telling me how upset they were that they recorded for a game that I believe came out uh, where they play two characters and one of their characters' names is written like doo-doo and they were like, we're gonna pronounce that doo, -doo. Mm -hmm. And then was talking to one of the directors because it was like directed by a couple different people and the other ones were like oh yeah that's smart well we just had everyone else call her doo-doo and they're like can you do pickups and fix that and they're jesus Oof. whoa my game just crashed whoa uh -oh. okay oh i oh man i hope it keeps that checkpoint uh stop telling me about my control pad thing what the fuck uh, I am reading Tiger Tiger to to chat. I'm I'm only a little bit into it. Ooh. Oh, there's a um. Well, Will fixes this. There's a uh, Bo showed me this manga that's like, I think I think it's translated as this old man won't die, and <laughs> it's about this like legendary hero who's man for lack of a better word he looks like. 70 year old Dan Gansley if he aged really well <laughs> he's hmm. very hot <laughs> and then Angel comes down to psycho pump him to the afterlife personally as a reward for all his service and she's like too charmed by him to bring him to the afterlife oh and I think I've heard of this actually and they fall in love and it's so cute it's really adorable Damn it. Eben Ward has some good couples yeah that's true I try I I don't like the the relationship of like God I hate my wife. It's like why man? I'm so uh, tired. That that's why I, I like doing like for example the uh, Mercy and Korea. Well, you better restart. Uh, what did it not? Screen share. Oh, no, oh it, screen it didn't share. Oh okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, okay. uh, shit. I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, oh okay. God. I did have a, it did have some ah. kind of checkpoint. Oh yeah, I had to like. Basically, do all the same shit again. And do this, throw this down here, punch. Hairball. Oh, at least the Odies, yeah! Yeah, at least the Odies, yeah. Oh, oh Will, look, er, not Will, sorry. Yellow, let me show you the Odies. I love that. I know so little of Ebon Ward, but I do respect that Ebon Ward has the. There's some characters in it where I'm like, this is a little it's kind of in the kind of in the rare third ballpark of Jello Girl with honestly Dia. I really like Dia. <laughs> yeah. Oh Dia. I, I love that Dia's a freak. <laughs> yeah, she's a um, uh, she's a little problem. She Dia. she's she's become more of a problem. <laughs> I like that she's a freak and uh honestly don't know too much about her, but if I'm being totally honest, that it's like rock climbing. <laughs> Bella it's <not> Withers, for <laughs> fucking god, dude. There's I've like every time I'm in like a voice chat with the community, I always have one new person pop and go. So I don't watch Evan Ward. Who's Bella? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm like, yeah, it's everyone like wants the trash girl. <laughs> What are the three types of Jello Girl? Soft knife and garbage. So, any version of Phoenica, Lust from Full Metal Alchemist, and then like Bloody Mary from Wolf Among Us. Yeah, those are good pulls. And the third one's so rare. They never write. They never let like women be fun, freaky villains without it's like making true. it, yeah. making it like a male-written fetish sex thing, and yeah. it's like it's boring. Yeah, it's let, let ladies be crazy. That is why uh, Bloody Mary is great. She's and... so good. Oh my god. Um, oh. You know who's really good, actually. Uh, if anyone watches the uh, the Owl House, you know what character I fucking love. I think her name is Tara Snapdragon. She's the leader of the Plant Coven. Love that bitch. Just evil and loving it and shitty. She's great. Fifteen uh, percent is not much, but I'm kind of as a lesbian. I need more freak women in my life. I when I was putting up those character cards the week before to promote Prison of Plastic by my book by my book, they fucking every single person went. Oh, Joe, loving the old lady. Shut up. She's fun. <laughs> um, the uh, I mentioned in Zora, it was just like. You know, just like a casual, like, she smells bad, like, doesn't shower. And there were so many comments that were just like, oh, I can make her bad. Like, so much lesbian thirst. I'm like, are you guys okay? <laughs> no, they're not. They're starving. Holy oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Gomez and Morticia. Oh, yeah. They're good. They're good. The ones. I have recently seen so much T for T, Gomez and Morticia, and I'm like, yes. Yeah, it's valid. Man, isn't it sad that the Adams family is written as like an opposite? Oh, hello. Oh, <gasps> Peter O'Brien, the Irish vampire. We all saw you through your father's eyes, and you're just not that important to him. Where is, is this the, the, is no, this Irish? No, Irish. The guy we was, killed before. I think, was, I think the Irish guy was. Yeah, this is her dad. Yeah. He tried putting a leash on you, but you're just. Wild to <laughs> are you in an actual bath or are you just a head? I think he's just a head, but maybe he's connected to a new monster. Mr. Housted. Do you think they were supposed to, like, the actor recorded this, like, hey, your stuff's gonna be ripped out and we'll animate it to your voice, and they just didn't do that? <laughs> This is a cartoon. I mean, it, it yeah, it's Evil West. Yeah, Goes back to sleep. <laughs> Dad, what if I know what if I get drunk? For the president. You want to turn him? <laughs> yep, that's blood. But since I took down your leech farm and stop the plague, there's just not enough of you freaks to simply walk into the White House. I don't know. <laughs> You're going to make me drunk! Man, when do you unlock the match? We've turned the John Wilkes booth into a vampire! <laughs> He is now John Wilkes Tooth! Ah, I saw it coming. The king is nothing. Washington is too far from here. You'll kiss him. Power Do play. It. Not if Gross I line kiss. up hundreds of vampires and lightning zap to the- Oh, oh he's going oh, for it. Oh, he's going for oh. it. Maybe there is a little cowboy Maybe shipping. there is a little something something going on here. It's that lighter than air vehicle. It's that blue shit suited man. <laughs> a little so something funny. something. A little something something. <laughs> Every bullet counts, 
Stay focused. We can't allow her to get to the president. Lock and load. How All does up. this map help? Yeah. What? <laughs> now you're my Mimir, yeah. Why would <laughs> God of War. You, why would you circle Washington, D.C. and not the location you're going to? You know you're going to Washington, D.C. What part? <laughs> Stupid ass. Okay, so this is definitely the final level, yeah, right? Yeah, this has got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Literally called the grand finale. Yo, you people actually gonna help me? I mean, they were doing science stuff. Oh, Jello, I've shown you this. Look how cute this is. Whatever, whatever the fuck is going on here. We'll go and look for the president. Also, Thank look at Fred and Quinn. I, I linked them in chat. It's Terry's bang, sons of bitches, and you asshole. Seriously? What happened to Potty Mouth? That was the president. Whoa! <laughs> oh, there's so many. Oh, I love that. I love that a lot. Mm-hmm. Ow, fucker. Ow, fucker. Yeah, as an extension of the, um, oh, what are the gel? This is actually a really nice looking area. Um, oh yeah, good architecture. As an extension of the, like, what are your types? Jello, it's very funny, but like in terms of fiction, Jay is like a gender bend of my typical, like that's the kind of girl I like in things. And Yam is a gender bend of the kind of boy. <laughs> wow. What? Wow. Okay. Ah! Okay! Fire! This game, this game is secretly only halfway done. You now have to fight through the president's entire cabinet. What an awful tw Like, that would ruin the game if that were true. God, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my, oh my god. god! I hope Danny's having a nice day. Oof. A random topic. Assuming you dislike or feel indifferent to both. Also, this is the most vanilla snow golem comment I've ever seen. Which of these games has better story writing? Cold Steel 1 through 4 or Genshin? Rough. Um, Rough! <laughs> Cold Steel, it has a skip cutscene button. Have I played any of the tactics games, like Final Fantasy Tactics? No. Strong Bad made this game. <laughs> oh, they'll be like vampires, and then you punch them with electricity! Oh, you know what? Here's one. Uh, Cure Mushery and Cure Amor from uh, Pretty Cure uh, fucking Hugto, Pretty Cure. What do you mean that's a me comment? Bro, if I had a nickel for every time you asked me something about Genshin specifically and additionally the Trail series, I'd be a trillionaire. <laughs> How do I feel about no straight roads? I don't know what that is. What are some twists or final scenes? It was all a dream! Yeah, I mean, it was all a dream. Just like, uh, the ending of Scooby-Doo and Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery. Oh my god, they should have committed to the bit! They really should just commit to the bit. Like, what, the, cannot, the canon of Scooby-Doo would have been ruined? Like, fuck off. How would Nintendo Direct describe evil West? Take a bite out of this. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like this game, maybe you could just rent it? <laughs> Way too clever. Way too clever. You're right. He's doing something. <laughs> He's doing something. I gotta, I gotta re-retweet this one. This ah! one's too fucking funny. The stakes have never been higher. Use weapons to fight the vampire menace. In this video game. Collect money, upgrade your weapons, so you're always ready for the next thing. It's, <laughs> it's not a ship. 
but whatever the fuck is going on between Shiraishi and Botaro, there's something yo, there. <laughs> whatever yo, the yeah. fuck that is. <laughs> Absolutely that. One million percent. That. With over 10 levels of vampire fighting action, this is coming to your Xbox 360 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> What tropes do you want to see more? Not necessarily a favorite, just underrepresented tropes. Badass grandma character. Bonus points, don't kill her. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Love me some badass grandmas. Fucking, fucking Mad Max, absolutely nuts. Yeah. yeah. Love those old ladies. In this new indie game, unleash shocking combos collect resources, and turn off the spiders. <laughs> Boses don't make me get the boy best friends post again. <laughs> I love that one post about Finster where he's just describing girl month and someone's just like, egg, no, whatever this is, is way funnier. <laughs> <laughs> this is like getting your master's thesis and being cis, <laughs> but you studied abroad for a year. Badass grandma with her male wife husband, equally good. You guys claim to want more representation, but every time I mention that I'm bi or poly or I'm not inherently turned off by older people, make fun of me. Moon girl, devil dinosaur. I need to watch that. I don't know anything about that except that its opening is fucking awesome. Am I going to make a video for the Fire Emblem concept like the Pokemon Animal Crossing ones? Yes. It will. It's years away, though. We want to make fun of you more than we want representation. Honesty. Like a year old man, man, if that Good doesn't honesty, just sum man. up the internet, let him go. Aloha wants more representation for saying the phrase, let him cook. <laughs> let him cook is a great phrase. Big fan. I, I don't know where it came from, but it, it's it's got some, it's reaping some good rewards. Let him cook. And I've also, like, I, I know it's not caught on because it's mostly just in our circle. I'm a big fan of yelling, he swung first. <laughs> just, that's a <laughs> defensive statement. Give me that extra health, please. You swung first. <laughs> uh. No, I didn't unlock it. Let him cook. No seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good post. Okay. I finally killed all of the oh, Chloe. Eh. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Did he just go gay? Hey. <laughs> he just said hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, girl, you looking fine. 364. Hey. That's mine. That's mine, and you're That's looking That's mine. Fine. <laughs> Him looking lovingly at his husband in the morning. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine this guy having a loving tone of voice, even if he is feeling the feelings. Just, I love you. <laughs> You know what? Fair. <laughs> That's mine. Let him drop grapes. Jesse goes to a restaurant. Uh, can I get a Coke? Is Pepsi okay? That's fine. No. <laughs> if you open up your game where you have to shoot your best friend, the zombie president of the United States in the head, where in the absolute Fuck, are you supposed to go from here? <laughs> God, I want to watch that again. It's so good. I, I've had, like, I used to fall asleep to that video and I've watched it all the way through sincerely, like three times. It's really excellent. Cause fellas, I can't help but think we've punched the boulder again. <laughs> Resident Evil is such a strange series. Yeah, I I love that video because for such a long time I like I've still never touched a Resident Evil game myself. I just absorb them through osmosis and like wiki binging. But like back in the day before fandom existed and like wikis weren't disgusting and terrible. <laughs> yeah. What video? The Noah Cadwell Gervais, um, an extremely thorough look at Resident Evil. And it do be thorough. <laughs> 
it's seven hours long and some change, and it's like it's oh, really it's good. Amazing. It's legitimately Indeed. one of the best videos I've watched. It's just excellent. Ooh, I don't want to be here, laser. Gonna be the odd man out. Genuinely think RE6 is a good and well-made game. It's just not a horror game. Well, considering their thesis statement was to make it the ultimate horror experience, I think that means it was a terribly made game. <laughs> I think they high-key failed. Resident Hills or Silent Evil? <laughs> yeah. Silent Evil sounds kind of cool. I, uh, I played Resident Evil 6, and I... So Resident Evil 5 is another example of like, it's not a horror game, but I had fun. Uh, Resident Evil 6 is not that. It's not a horror game and it's not fun. It's it's just very clunky, in my opinion. RE6 is the game I know the least about. That's fine. Because I I didn't, lore-wise, I didn't like the, ooh, I didn't like the direction the series was going around the time of 5, so I kind of like fell off of being into it. Um. And then I came back for seven, obviously. What about the 20 hour Skyrim video essay? I haven't seen it, but there's nothing that could validate a 20 hour video essay. Oh my man, you got glitched. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. Pop, pop, I'm scared to ask if the occasional lag is the stream. No, I'm looking at it. I think it's probably on your end. Will's Will's stuff seems to be good. Ooh, that looks bad, that background. Oh, there we go. Hey! I guys. hate the opera. Do you think he knows what an opera is, genuinely? It's like yeah, he's a, been forced to go to what one. doctors do. I'm so glad you're here to witness this great change. Ooh, you look bad. With the president joining our bloodline, Sharing his secrets just like your father did. We cannot be stopped. We'll see about that. Good, good comeback. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Let her go. <laughs> I tried to make you understand. In order to build something, you need to demolish its past. Your stupid ambition took everything from me. You turned my father against me and everything he stood for. That was. You still have that cool hat, though. I'm here to make sure you won't do the same to anyone else. Oops, my gauntlet doesn't work anymore. Me when I get in the car. Resident Evil ass final boss. Oh, I was kind of hoping we'd just fight a little girl. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd just do fucking fisticuffs Whoa! with a 12 year old. Oh my god! Oh, there's a vampire! Whoa! President Evil. <laughs> yeah. Ow! I bet, like, Robot Chicken has done a really bad sketch called President Evil. Yeah. That's all X Play did. <laughs> oh. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Uh oh. Ah! Whoa! Stop! Time stop. Yeah, that's how much health you should have. Uh, oh, I dodged that. I'll take your word for it. Ghost laser. I can't turn fast. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna step aside immediately. Oh my god. I wanted to dash towards you, but I can just fuck myself too. I'm fucked. Season 3, episode 19 of Robot Chicken is called President Evil. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, are we dividing kids in here? Ah. Wouldn't it 
be annoying if everywhere behind you when you ran there was like a trail of fire. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get anything done. If I had to recast one character as Jenny Nicholson, who would she play in Apathet Erased? She would show up and the one, like, bit where Molly happens to run into a girl that looks exactly like original white anime campaign Molly for two seconds, and then it's just a joke, she would voice OG Molly. Uh, Why only one of her arms all weird looking? That's how arms be. See, like, if you're just gonna oh. sacrifice that much health out of nowhere, like, why not just make it feel more satisfying? No, that's what I've done. Up at home. For some reason, the the phase change, like. Me. No. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh my Strange. god! Please let me get in there. I'm... Oh Ooh. no. <laughs> Ow. Fuck. Oh my god! I have to for that. I just told myself to what to do. Where are you? Does my vampire girl have Ow. bone in it? Question about Markiplier, and I just remember that stupid pay everyone to me, Markiplier. <laughs> just obviously supposed to be critical. Oh my god. And it's not normally when they get stunned like that, it lets you like jolt forward instantly, and it's not doing mm -hmm. that with her because I think her model's all fucked up. Oops. Oh, cool, I missed that. I believe in you. God, her hair looks so bad. Ugh. Yeah, I don't, I don't, they shouldn't have kept the long hair on this freaky form. I mean, they should have just kept her a, a baby. Yeah. Yeah, there's a trope that I think sullies the end of a game. Stupid transformation, so you're fighting a thing that you weren't fighting before. Mm. Like, like, if I'm against someone an entire game, I don't want to fight them in, like, a transformed state or have them be like, I'm an Ace Attorney bad guy, here's my real personality. It's like, no, I want to fight you, the you that I've been fighting. Yeah, it's kind of like in Resident Evil 5 with Wesker. The first time you fight him is great, because he's Wesker. Um, and then the second time, he's like, I've got a weird arm. I'm like, that's not Wesker. I liked him when he was just a weird fast dude. Seven minutes. Because, like, the big thing about Wesker to me is, like, oh, he got the, the virus to work exactly as he wanted. That's get Oh, my God. Um, oh. Fuck me. You were pretty close to a checkpoint that time. You're getting there. I don't like her ass. I don't like this. Got, like, a big spinal divide in the middle of it. Mm. No, no, no. Yeah, if they had given her like a weird sort of long flowy werewolf tail or like like train on her lower back to match the hair, it would kind of even out the character design. Like a, a whole bit. train? You know like what I caboose? fucking mean? I, a tail? I actually don't. Yeah, so like. Almost like how fucking Vicar Amelia's got like this weird long tail going on. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this is big, big Resident Evil fight energy. Yeah. Derogatory. Resident Evil West. Oh, so, idea. so anytime she does that double roll, uh, she's about just to swipe. So just, yeah. yeah, just bail. Oh my god. Ow! Oh, okay. Boom! Oh. Well. Alright, another checkpoint. <laughs> Still in the castle.
We get it, you're long. I mean, why do three phases if the new forms is I'm just the same but bigger? This is just I've... a fucking mega evolution. I literally ah. didn't even realize she changed. She just got longer. Yo, yo, yo. My name is DJ Spur. I'm just like too big to hit now. Weirdly. You need to stop. You need to stop. Try, yeah, sure. Because I'm white and long. She's a Pokemon. She is a meat type, yeah. This whole game is about meat type Pokemon. <laughs> what is she throwing at you, boards? Just random shit. Well, here she come. I assume. Yep. Fun, fucking gone. jumping at you like Radon Meteor. Can you just stay behind cover and be safe? This is her! This is Megan's meat! Uh. Whoa. Man, those tornadoes are good. Uh. I don't understand a fucking word you're saying. Oh, shit! <laughs> Understand a word of it. Yeah, just hang out by nothing. Oh lord. Yup, that was the right call. This is gonna be Dia by the end of Evan Ward. Ow! Ah! Ah, oh, Jesus! Yeah, don't get greedy. You're close. Yeah. Actually, I think I know how to win this instantly. Uh, please switch. Yeah. Tornado. Tornado. Funk. <laughs> nice. So is this game, we didn't actually see the president. So is this game gonna end with like, glad I could save you, Mr. President. Uh, yes, thank you so much. And he turns and he's got fangs. Yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah. hope he turns around and it's Abe Lincoln. Cause, <gasps> cause he is a vampire, vampire hunter. hunter. Oh my God. She's fine? Let her cook. You beautiful son of a bitch. You're alive. The situation is contained, sir. The Institute's resources were finally put to good use. Just shoot this guy. Proper management. We couldn't allow for it to be led like a small Is that the president? Family business. Or even worse, to be run by a woman. Good. Sir, he should have shot him in the head. This man continuously abused his position of power for personal gain. His poor decisions jeopardized the whole country. And for that alone, he should be put behind bars. James. Dr. Blackwell here has shared some rather interesting information on your- Oh, we don't even get to kill this guy? Half of those allegations are true. I'm afraid you're done for. Mr. Rentier, your father was a great friend. Seeing your performance today, I have no doubt that his legacy is secure. The Please quit. don't- Don't look at my teeth, by the way. Secretary of War. Ever see yourself in the Bro, you cannot give him a position like that. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, okay. I'll see to it that full control of the Rentier Institute is returned to you. I'm afraid. Well, it doesn't really exist anymore. Afraid with two Fs? Necessary. Uh oh. Afraid. With a conflict like the one we. Two Fs, one for each fang. But to win this, we need to be bigger than ever. And smarter. With better protocols. And stronger lines of communication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you got my full support in any way I can provide. Yeah, I mean, after you save the president's life like this, I think you're gonna get as much funding as you fucking want. I'm sad that the stupid secretary never turned. You didn't get to blow his head off. Yeah. You can't make a villain that pointlessly. <laughs> Evil West. Okay. So, so I'm 
yeah. definitely gonna use this as a rank five song for uh, name that tune video mm -hmm. games. <laughs> I'll I'll catch it. Um, I think I still really like this game. Um, I think it's about three hours longer than it should be. Yeah, I I think they could have done a hi-fi rush here uh, and just made a well, actually hi-fi rush is like thirteen hours, but like that's that's solid through and through. Yeah, I think I think this just needs to be a little shorter. There's like I think there's two full levels you could cut. Um, yeah, like the, and the mountain. Actually, both mountains, quite frankly. I I think I would have cut the, um, there was like a swamp with like puzzles in it. It just looked really bad. Yeah. And I, I would have cut that just because like, and I'm sure it's, I don't know. I'm impressed by this game, honestly. Like yeah. it's, it has a lot more variability than I expected. It's a fun beat em up. Um, it's just a little too long, and it's it's still not even very long, but, like, it is a silly game, so it's too long for how silly it is. I, I think where this game would have thrived is, I don't know if you remember this, because I don't know if you were much of a console guy, or at least for Xbox. Xbox used to have this thing called Xbox Live Arcade, and it was exclusively kind of smaller, usually indie games that were really well polished, usually, uh, and were just like, you buy this for, like, 10 to 30 dollars you play this for probably four hours done that's it i think i think this would have thrived in that sort of a setting um yeah i like this a lot and i i would love to see more uh of this game quite frankly i'd i'd like to see another thing from this studio i think this idea Correct. is pretty much done yeah that's the better way of phrasing it i i would like to see what they do next because as long as they keep going down this path of, we made a video game, um, which is a weird statement to have, but it is strictly true, quite frankly. Oh, are they like a, is this like a Czech or a Polish studio yeah, or I something? Was, I was just looking at that. I was like, wait a minute, all these names. Yeah. That, hold on. This is, this is, I think, Flying Hog Studios. Is... Yeah. Oh. I can look it up. Yeah. I'm curious. Who? <sighs> Oh, whoa. Let's look. Uh, yeah, it's Polish. Cool. Found it in 2009. What else have you guys done? You must have done something else. West Evil? <laughs> Dude, if you if you want a, a riot, look up... I know Oz has heard this like a dozen times, but I keep on getting it with different people. Look up From Software's production history, and you will see <laughs> they just made the same two Here, games. Here, I'll read it out. They made I'll this, read it out. It's very funny. You don't need to read the whole thing, but like they made the same two games until they got the formula right and made a series out of it. Uh, All right. <laughs> oh, also, oh. real quick, audio team... I applaud you. You guys were the heroes in this game. Chunk, 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 chunk. So good. All right. So starting in 1994, From Soft made Kingsfield, Kingsfield 2, Kingsfield 3, Armored Core, Armored Core Project Phantasma, Shadow Tower, Echo, Echo Knight, Armored Core Master of Arena, Spriggan, Lunarverse, Frame Grid, Echo Knight 2, Lord of Nightmares, Eternal Ring, Evergrace, <laughs> Armor Core 2, Adventures of Cookie and Cream. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got like nine more Kingsfield game, like Lost Kingdom, Shadow Tower Abyss, yeah. like all this shit. And then it's just like, uh, to, uh, to 2009, Demon Souls. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then from there, they were like, oh, we found it but like literally they kept on doing european fantasy and they're like no it's got to work it has to <laughs> do you think like their founder was cursed and it was like <laughs> you and your ch your children and, and your, your children's, children's children, children will develop medieval fantasies for a hundred years <laughs> <laughs> Until you make Dark Souls. Well, this... yeah, no, Kingsfield is good, but it's funny that they just kept making Kingsfield. Like, so here's the thing: Kingsfield is good, but it didn't blow up like the Souls series. And they they made so many different robot games because this is also the same studio that did uh, uh, Metal Wolf Chaos. You mm -hmm. know, uh, they also did, I believe they did Steel Battalion. They did Chrome Hounds. Like they just kept trying either big mecha. 
or European flavored RPG over and it's, over again. <laughs> it's kind of cool that they like. It's pretty rare that you see everyone given their own individual credit like this. Yeah. And it, like normally it's just like senior programmers and they're all listed. Yeah. That's, yeah, true, that's cool. actually. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Can't wait to see the voice actors. Yeah. Boy, this is... The voice acting wasn't like bad. Uh, no, was... yeah. I don't know. I like Jesse. I thought Jesse was fine. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> God. Is he like. Oh, I. So I had this like minimized so I could see chat, uh, or at least small. And I thought he was like walking. And I was like, man, when is he going to like. Get, get there. near or get something. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I didn't realize he was just idle animationing. Yo, why wasn't this guy in Smash? <laughs> I'll be real, actually. His kit would fucking rule in Super Smash, bro. No, he'd be he'd be fun. Can you imagine? <laughs> Jesse <laughs> Rentier. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, you pretty much you got his final smash, which is just the lightning teleporting. Yeah. And it it works like Latios and Latias Pokeball attack, where he just zips around screen and hits you randomly. His uh, his yeah. uh, grab would just be the lightning tether that pulls you to him. Um, oh, that would be fucking busted. Well, you obviously wouldn't make it the same range, um, but it would be kind of neat if they, they made didn't? it. Huh? What if they didn't? What if it was just thirty feet away and he could grab you? Yeah, that would be pretty unfortunate. I do like the idea of having his grapple. Uh, range grapple would be weird in the fact that it tethers to them and then he goes there instead of them always coming to him. Hook shot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone says, do y'all know Taskmaster? I'm pretty sure that... Do I actually don't know. Just a thing of beauty. <laughs> you, you two... You two are very into Taskmaster. Yeah. I have seen some episodes and it's good. It's very good. I fucking love Taskmaster. A lot of it is on YouTube for free. I highly encourage you check out Taskmaster um, with Greg Davies and Little Alex Horn. Little Alex Horn! <laughs> Him versus Belmonts for the best vampire hunter. I think, like, I'm gonna be real. I think he would kick the Belmonts' ass. <laughs> to be fair, he's got some Except crazy Except for Soma. Tech. Uh, so well, so not, a not a Belmont. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, if if we've got uh, Jesse Rentier going up against Caveman. Um, Simon, yeah. Yeah. It, I, I mean, Jesse has a gun. <laughs> like, he has a lot of guns. So, leave Simon alone. He doesn't even know about germ theory yet. <laughs> we should leave Simon alone for a while and he drops dead at old age at 36. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, rough it's a hard girl. knock life in the in the two hundreds or whatever the fuck. I love all these names, and it's just like Richard Jolly, and then it goes back. Griff Jenkins, a real person. Griff Jenkins is absolutely your like new recruit for your Gears of War squad. Your Halo squad, yeah. yeah. What would Jesse's way of storming Dracula's castle be? I think he'd just walk Blow in. Blow it up. <laughs> I think he'd just like lightning teleport. Like, you see that lightning that crashes into the top of the castle? That's him. Yeah, that's him. Man, I just had, I wanted to, like, make this as a joke, and I realized, it's like, wow, this is about the most Oz aesthetic thing I can imagine without having any, like, Lolita dresses in there, which is uh, just a cowboy Castlevania game where you get a, like, whistle remix of Bloody Tears as the Holy opening shit, hallway <laughs> Oh, voice cast. Here we go. Yeah. Derek Hagen. Yeah, I don't recognize that name. I mean, I don't think we're going to recognize any of these people. Yeah. Nope, I got nothing. Matthew <laughs> Gianni! What? Yeah, Man, that makes so much sense. They spelled his Gianni. name wrong! Oh, much no! <laughs> Gianni, oh, Gianni Machagano. <laughs> no. they, his name has two ends in it. And they forgot the R in his last name. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> but Gianni. I, am I crazy? Isn't Matthew Curtis Takahata 101? Might be. I don't know. 
No, his first name might be Curtis. I don't remember. Gianni! Gianni Matagano! <laughs> Aloha! Oh no! Oh! Oh, Gianni. Oh. Also, I'm kind of surprised at how tame the credits is. Curtis Arno, you're right. Okay, sorry. This seems like the kind of thing he'd randomly pop up in, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> like... yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolf Willia, ain't that the bitch who makes them chocolates? <laughs> With the golden tickets? And... Oh my god, Jello. <laughs> that, one, that one took me a moment. <laughs> that took me a minute, yeah. Did, did you guys ever see that video of this? It's like this girl talking. I don't know. She's like some minor TV celebrity. And she starts this video like very tearfully and is like just wanted to address some things oh my god that video is so good it's really excellent and it starts off and it's like i just i wanted to talk about fans like to fans about proper conduct and she's like i i decided to bring i i held a contest and got five fans got to come on set and the the behavior was so rude i i'm so i would normally never do this but i i have to make this a teachable moment one of the fans fell into my chocolate river after I told him explicitly not to drink from it. <laughs> and she just recounts. The worst part is, the worst part is I literally didn't know what the bit was until she stopped, She talked about the grandpa. <laughs> oh. oh my God. I didn't catch on. Dude, that was a long credit sequence. I mean, you can just close it, it says. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. I, I always like try to respect the the folks that make these games the grussel but that's fresh the grussel the grind yeah, hustle I guess I can just... ew yeah like, the grussel they got gianni's name wrong start new game <laughs> oh, 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 oh <laughs> jesse <laughs> yeah don't you spell me macho oregano <laughs> that's a type of car Oh. Asking G I'm asking Gianni who he played. He probably just did extras. Yeah, I know, but like, be neat to be like, I was this kind of monster. Yeah. yeah. Does he know that they spelled his name wrong? I I sent him the credits <laughs> list. No. <laughs> they they spelled first and last name yeah. wrong. Oh, they got both. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh. it, it's Gianni Matr Matragano. There's there's no R and there's no N and the there's one N instead of two. Yeah, I knew about that one. Ah, oh, beans. Is Gianni the guy from Ultra Kill? I honestly don't yes. know. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Gianni getting work. Yeah. There was not to not to fucking horn my own toot and be like, this is All a right. cool thing I did, but. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> understood. <laughs> Disconnect. Have a nice day. Um, there was this old client I worked with years and years ago, and they were like, hey, we want to get you for this promotional material. And like, I know them as a small studio, and they uh, they don't do video games necessarily. They do something adjacent to it. But they had like, they were like, we're doing this. And it was uh, the adaptation of like a, a different medium adaptation of a really well-known series. And I was like, whoa, you don't want me for this. And they were like, and I was like, you should hire Gianni. He's perfect. And they were like, and, and for the record, it's not one of those series that Gianni is like really oh, in. Like it's not the like one a you, I know you mentioned this one, mm -hmm. right, right, right. And, and I was like, I'm pretty sure you want Gianni. And they're like, yeah, hey, yeah, but we feel more comfortable because we've worked with you before. And then I was like practicing based on vocal performances in the existing series. I was like, I'm just doing a bad Gianni impression. And I, 30 minutes before the session, I was like, this is such a strange request. Can I request you fire me and hire Gianni instead? <laughs> he is he is online right now and will do this. And he did and it worked out. So Good. I'm excited. Uh, Gianni says, I'm just some random miscellaneous voices. I think a guy you see at the hub who might have technically been named like Agent Adams, but nobody of particular note. Oh. That's so cool. Wow. He, Evil West. Evil we did West. it. 
Uh, yeah. I was gonna r real quick. I want to see if uh, God, what was what was the guy's the main guy's name? Derek Hagen. Uh, uh, yeah. I want to see if he's done anything else. Derek Hagen. He's an actor. Oh, he's a Canadian actor. Wow. This must have been like a Canadian casting job. Uh, he's all right. The... Gianni's Canadian. <laughs> yeah. Um, some additional voices in the new Battlefront Two. Um. He's a bunch of random guys in the Hitman series. He has a named role as Montgomery in Hitman 3. Don't know who that is. Okay. He's in, the... He's in Control. He's in some things. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah. Control's a big game. Yeah. Hmm. Neat. Yeah, he is Frederick Langston in Control. I don't know who that is. I no, don't know who that is either. Um, I played a little bit of Control, and I stopped because... I could see very quickly it was just going to make me wander around a lot, and the map sucks. And I was like, I'm not interested. I'm not here for this, guys. <laughs> I'm just not. Yeah. What about evil Midwest, though? That's regular Midwest. There's oh. no good Midwest. Hater, be careful that them, they're vampires. God, it's not the humidity. It's the gosh darn fangs. <laughs> darn fangs, <laughs> The yeah. fangs that'll get ya. She's hiding out in this meth town. <laughs> Nothing. Where are they? Just a hundred vampires posed like like scarecrows in a cornfield. Hmm. <laughs> Comically on. They can't kill Where'd she go? <laughs> but if you shoot a real scarecrow, the crows will eat our crops. <laughs> Damn, those bastards! Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna pop open Genshin and literally just chill. Uh, yeah, chill and mash through. There's so many. Qu I've, I've been ignoring all the quests, and they're so boring. So, if you guys want to keep hanging out, I'm gonna get a drink, and then I will uh, yeah, take yeah. over the stream. If you can keep your game up for like two more minutes. Yeah, I I think I can manage. This is a good bathroom break, chat. Go on, go pee. Yeah, be free. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I I like this game. Um, my final review of this is, uh. If you can get it on sale, yeah, that could be worth checking out. Because uh, it's very fun to play. Um, by the end, it, it does get a little brutal, but I don't think it ever gets truly unfair. It, it gets close a couple of times. Uh, but they they just juice you up so much with just... Abs Actually, we missed one of the upgrades. Like, I don't know what the middle upgrade is for the Gatling Good guy. shower, Bo. Good luck. Oh, don't good fall luck. in. Except... <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, definitely a solid, really solid 7 out of 10. And that is, I think, a good review score. Despite what a lot of folks might think. There's a lot of folks who are like, 7? Oh, garbage immediately. You know what else is a great 7 out of 10? Code Vein. It's definitely horny on MAME, which I'm not a big fan of at all. But it is a genuinely fun time, especially if you've got a buddy to play through it. Uh, don't bother the DLC. It's a lot of, like, rehashed content for a price that's not reasonable. Um, what are some other really good 7 out of 10s at the top of my noggin? Hmm. I don't know. I don't even play video games! <laughs> I play video games. Not, not as often as I used to. I used to be... I can't uh, wait to play video games again when I get free time. <laughs> you, I say turning into a zombie. You will make free time when Tears of the Kingdom comes out. I know that for that's sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's so funny. I look at that game and I'm like, I'm so glad you're excited for it. I got I feel nothing. But... I have zero expectations for the plot. Like I know the gameplay is gonna be fun. It just has to be because if it's going off of Breath of the Wild, which I enjoyed, mm -hmm. then I'm going to have fun. Yeah. But the story, <laughs> I'm like, all right, Nitty, disappoint me. <laughs> yeah. They're never going to live up to my expectation, and I've accepted that. I just want to look at the cool environments and appreciate the cool music and have fun. Sometimes that's okay. enough from a video game. Someone says, uh, an honest 7 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm not sure if that... I was up long enough. I'm not actually sure if that was in reference to Evil West, but that is what I'd give it. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was saying. I was like, this is, this is a really solid 7 out of 10. And I, I say that seven with a lot of affection. Um, seven is good. Yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of people just assume that a seven is like 
mad garbo tier and it's just not Pe people who grew up on IGN. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true cuz uh, and I admit, I definitely had that mindset for a long, long time. Basically, what a 7 means to me is that it's a great time for the right person. Yeah. Um, yeah. My my positive number score is um, 5 is generic and not, like, not notable in any way. Yeah. 6 is... I did not regret watching that, but I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Yeah. Um, seven is seven's usually the most interesting to like review because it's like this is definitely good, but some like I have to put an asterisk after that. I can't just fully recommend this to somebody. Yeah, like there's problems, or like, it's very rare I get a seven, and it's like it's just a seven. Like, and I have nothing more to say. Right, I right. can't think of anything that I. Uh, eight is my, it's good. That's it. Yep. Uh, nine is like, it's really fucking good. And then I reserve tens for, hey, if you are a fan of this medium or this genre, you need to check this one out yeah. for some reason. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think one of the problems too is that the, the gaming review side of things when they started using, uh, started using, they always did it for a very, very long time, using numbers to review their games. Um, people basically went seven and below is garbage eight is passable nine is great ten is horse oh, shit you're wrong so it's like it's yeah. the american grading system yeah a little bit for schools it, yeah, yeah yeah a little bit um and i i wish people would realize 10 does not mean the game is perfect 10 means this thing gets just about everything right and there might be a couple things that aren't exactly on point and that's okay um i remember when i think it was bayonetta 2 got a 10 mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. Game Informer, and people lost their fucking minds. Really? I thought people loved Bayonetta. Oh, they do, but there were a lot of tryhards who were people like, People who were like, it's not a 10, it's not a 10, you what? can't make a 10. Only mean? Ocarina of Time. Halo 2 wasn't a 10. I mean, it should have been. It would be reviewed the same nowadays. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what do you, you want? I'm pissing and shitting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I am. Uh, I am good to take over. This is going to be a separate stream because of how this stupid website works. Um, yeah. I'm select broadcast. Yeah, so dude. yeah, if you want to just I, close this out, then. Yeah. Go ahead and close it. I can. I can end the stream on my end. Actually. Um, yeah. If you just want to go back to the Jello Plays Games channel, it should be live in like the next two minutes. So check it out. Yeah. All right. Bye.